pray that we make it through the fire This world gon' take us higher, yes I know I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets to my people not hearing us I pray that we make it through in a time of war and crisis, they're still showing discrimination against black people. You see it on the news? Black people complain that they're not getting assistance. That's showing you that they have a perpetual hatred against our people. Right? The other nations are for their own people. Right? They're still in Congress to this day deciding whether or not they should give black people reparation for slavery. But they just signed $15 billion to give to Ukraine. How, how, they, how they just magically found $15 billion, but they don't want to give us money for reparation. But they say that everybody's equal in America. Right? Well, you said that's a, that's a lie, right? No one's equal. That's right. So we see the lies and hypocrisy right here in America. But let me ask you a question, sis. Before every kingdom was destroyed in the Bible, what did God do? No. Before every kingdom was destroyed, what did God do? No. He sent forth his servants, the prophets, to warn the people. Right? Read that. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied against many countries what? prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence the prophet which prophesied of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass then the prophet shall be known then the prophet be known that the lord hath truly sent him See, you're gonna know because guess what this war in ukraine and russia is going to escalate to the third world's war Okay, it's gonna escalate and America is gonna listen all these countries China Russia. They all have nuclear bombs pointed at America They all they are gearing up to see who's gonna be the next superpower after America is destroyed But in the meanwhile everybody's here partying like it's no tomorrow. Why do you think they, they legalize? marijuana You think they really care about you? How many brothers end up doing bids selling weed now that it's legalized? Right. These men winning for the law and don't have nowhere to live or homeless. You you in the military? How many years? Well, you see? So this this is what happens when you sacrifice your life in this country, this is what you get. No support. Okay. No support. Why? What you holding? Read that. Read that. The book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 5. Then I be I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphas. So this is now we're reading about Christ in the Old Testament. A lot of you think that Christ only appeared in the New Testament. But we're reading about the prophet Daniel giving a description of Christ. Read that again. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen. Right, so Christ wore linen. Right? Anytime they show Christ on TV and they get him looking like a bum. Christ wore linen, he wore gold. They said he had a solid gold girdle. Okay, come on. And it wasn't 24 carat, it wasn't 18, it wasn't 10 carat. It was that fine gold of Euphaz. Okay, read on. And behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. Come on. His body was also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning. Come on. And his eyes as the lamps of fire. Right. And his arms. And his feet. It said his arms and his feet. Come on. Like in color. Like in what? Like in color. Like in who? Like in color. That's in the Bible. And like in color. The Bible says like in color. They say, but well, there's no color mentioned in the Bible. We just read in the book of Daniel 
the tenth chapter in the fifth verse, it says, "Light and color, come on to what? To polish brass. To what? To polish brass. So what color is brass? It's a derivative of brown. So what you're gonna find out that you have been lied to by your pastors, by your preachers, by your pope, according to Bible, Christ was a so-called black man. Yes, yes. Okay, Christ is a so-called black man, huh? I didn't hear. Come, come close. Come close. I can't hear you. I read you're a Roman Catholic by Italian family. They're all cult. They're all cult, right? They're lying to everybody. Right. So do you believe that you stand before the true prophets of God today? I don't know where I stand anymore. Huh? I don't know where I stand in the country anymore. You don't know where you stand in life anymore? Nope. No, I ain't gonna lie. My country shit me out. I ain't no hate I have no, no respect for no one as I started the country. They fought for their freedom. I took a bullet for this country no one loves me anymore. Well, come and shit me out. Why? Right, give me Job 9. I'm going to show you why. Job 9 24. Let me show you. Give me Job 9 24. See? And give me. Uh, Job chapter 9, verse 24. 